as we kick off 2022, uh, we have a big task ahead. We need a roughly 1 million fold improvement in our capacity to remove uh, carbon from the atmosphere uh, to get to gigaton scale carbon dioxide removal. That's a lot. That's, uh, that's basically doubling 20 times. So we have a lot, uh, a lot to do that, you know, we can't really get there just by, by tweaking the dials. But, you know, I've been thinking a lot about how do you, how do you set a course for doubling 20 times? How do you set a course for a million fold improvement? And to me, I've, I've come back to these, these three key questions when we're talking to the launchpad teams, uh, when I'm talking to uh, air miners that are joining the, the air miners orientation, and it basically comes down to this. Uh, what's your goal of the next three months? Uh, what's, how are you gonna get there? And what's blocking you from, from getting there just like, boom, right now? Because really, when you think about that million fold growth, I mean, just if you could just kind of leapfrog a bunch of things, you still have plenty of work to do, right? So we should expect leapfrogs, but we should also expect lots of hard work. Uh, 20 fold uh, doubling is like, there's gonna be lots of all of it. So be on the lookout for, for leapfrogs, be on the lookout for lots of hard work. Uh, but ultimately in these kind of three month sprints, you gotta have a clear goal, you gotta know how you're gonna get there, even if it changes, uh, and you have to know like actually what's standing in your way. Um, so that's, those are my thoughts for, you know, kicking off the year as you're going into your meetings and having your planning sessions and your, um, you know, doing New Year's resolutions, that sort of stuff. Uh, this, this came from, you know, this has been kind of tested over the last two batches of Air Miners Launchpad. Uh, it's also been tested in Air Miners Orientations. We, uh, we just interviewed 40 uh, Launchpad teams for this next uh, batch three, and pretty much every interview was those three questions. They're really powerful at just cutting through uh, they're really powerful at cutting through. Uh, <laughs> um, oftentimes, you know, people start out, you know, what is it you need in the next three months? What's the big blocker? Boom, it's, it's super clear. Super clear what the big blocker is. And then you ask, well, okay, great, how are you getting there? And that's where it starts to be like, oh, it's unclear how to get there. Um, or, you know, sometimes it's clear how to get there, but it's unclear what the blockers are. We're not sure why we're not you know, we're not getting there, but we're not sure why. So it's, it's a really helpful set of questions to be able to cut through, like, you know, where, where are you at in the process? Like, where are you getting stuck? Same thing for Air Mars orientation. We, uh, we used to, uh, Jason would host these, uh, these orientations for new people who were joining Air Miners Slack. And it used to be that we'd go through Slack and show like, hey, you know, welcome to Air Miners. Here's all the channels. Here's the, um, you know, here's the website. Here's the events, all that sort of stuff. And we've really pivoted uh, to basically asking these, these three questions to everybody that joins at orientation. Because our, our sense is like, we're not trying to orient you to air miners. Like we want to get a sense of what's your, what's your trajectory, where are you headed in these next three months? And, and air miners in a way should almost just kind of wrap itself around you. Like air miners should be this like Iron Man suit for every person who's coming in to work on carbon dioxide removal. So if your goal is to find a job at a startup company, if your job is to uh, meet a co-founder, if your job is to uh, you know, raise some funding so you can take your prototype uh, you know, to a shop that'll, that'll do verification testing for it, all those things, um, that's really what matters. So we've, we've kind of dialed the orientation in to be more like that. Uh, we have our Air Runners, uh launchpad interviews where we use that to just assess, like, are we gonna be able to really help a team because um, if they have a, you know, a clear plan for the next three months and there's nothing we can do to help, the best thing that we can do is to say like, okay, bye. <laughs> so that happens on some calls. Um, and then there's other calls where it's like, okay, this is, this is clear and you're getting stuck here and you know what, we can really, we can really help with that. Um, so you know, I think these questions are really useful to anybody as, as we're embarking on this, uh, this next year, thinking about a million fold improvement in carbon dioxide removal. Uh, again, just that, that structure helps to, to uh, see places that you're getting stuck, see places where there's kind of these, you know, black holes of, of, of strategy um, and, and figure, out how to, figure out how to address them. Uh, they're great questions to ask yourself, to ask your team, uh, to ask people that you, that you care about. If you care about somebody succeeding, if somebody's looking at, for example, finding a job at a carbon removal startup, ask them like, okay, what's the goal? How are they getting there? And what's stopping them? Uh, if they're asking for funding, if they're looking for funding, if they're looking for engineering help, science help, whatever your background is, you don't need to actually be a chemist to help somebody solve a chemistry problem. You can talk them through these three questions. What are you trying to do? 
how are you going to get there and, and how are you getting stopped? So that's my thought for kicking off 2022. Just thinking about you know, what are like these meta problems and processes that we can solve to unlock a million fold carbon dioxide removal improvement. 